Today's topic is acute abdomen. Acute abdomen refers to a sudden onset of severe abdominal pain. An acute abdomen may be indicative of a major problem with one of the organs in the abdomen, such as inflamed appendix, inflamed gallbladder, a ruptured spleen, or a perforated ulcer in the intestine. It is a life-threatening medical emergency requiring urgent and specific diagnosis. Causes. It has a large number of possible causes. Sickle cell anemia, kidney stone, ruptured ectopic pregnancy, ruptured spleen, acute appendicitis, acute peptic ulcer, adrenal crisis, ovarian torsion, bowel obstruction, biliary colic, acute intestinal ischemia, acute pancreatitis, acute peritonitis, trauma such as from a stab, gunshot wound, or blunt abdominal injuries, inflammatory bowel disease, abdominal aortic aneurysm, acute urinary retention, pelvic inflammatory disease, typhoid, myocardial infarction, hepatitis, severe liver failure, pancreatitis, symptoms, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, bloody diarrhea, constipation, lethargy, abdominal swelling, shock, anorexia, elevated temperature, silent or noisy bowel sound, muscle spasm, presence of mass, diagnosis and treatment, features of pain and associated symptoms which are likely to provide important clues during diagnosis are type of onset, if it is sudden, quality, if it is dull, sharp, in the case of gut obstruction, aching, such as found in pelvic inflammatory disease, intensified by breathing or tearing, intensity, if it is severe, moderate, or mild. Temporal features, if it is continuous or pulsating. Frequency and duration of pain, if it is intensified by motion, relieved, or aggravated by meals. It is expected that the doctor will carefully consider the patient's symptoms, especially in relation to organs that are most likely to cause the acute condition. Prolonged investigation of the condition may be used for the patient who does require urgent medical care to avoid error of omission and separate those who need immediate surgery from those who require watchful expectancy or those who require medical rather than surgical management. Careful and complete data collection is the diagnostic aid. First, the patient is checked for symptoms such as fever or evidence of shock, after which a complete and systemic examination of all organs is done. It is of great importance that the heart and lung be carefully checked. This is done to determine if extra abdominal cause for abdominal pain is present as well as to determine if the patient satisfies all the condition for surgery. An abdominal investigation including pelvic and rectal gives information for the type and degree on which diagnosis can be based and recommendation is made for or against surgical procedures. The patient may need to point to the area where the pain is more intense after which the standard techniques of oscillation, palpitation, and percussion is performed. These include blood tests for signs of blood and infection, blood test, x-ray, treatment. Treatment option depends on the cause and once diagnosis has been made, medical intervention and surgical intervention or both is necessary to treat a patient. Fluid therapy given intravenously, blood replacement, nasogastric suction, drug therapy, Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.